Haranisha Alexander stood before the cameras explaining what she calls a nightmarish experience. It's while she was in this drive through at Taco Bell on 610 in South Maine. I got a third degree burn. I might have to have one surgery or I may not. There's a bandage on the neck of the 19 year old. She says that's after she, her boyfriend and another friend were physically assaulted by an employee and manager at the Taco Bell. Alexandra says it happened on June 1st when the manager witnessed her throwing waste on the ground while in the drive through. I just threw a bottle out the window and he wanted me to pick it up and I told him no. Activist Quanell X says that's when the manager and the employee in the Taco Bell crossed the line and went too far. He says employees threw a drink on the customers while they were in their vehicle, which prompted Alexander and her friends to enter the fast food joint. Some employees here at Taco Bell decided to throw hot boiling grease on her and her boyfriend. The other young man that was with them was also stabbed with a butcher knife by one of the employees here at Taco Bell. How bad were those burns from the grease? Take a look at these disturbing photos from Alexander's family. One is the back of her 17-year-old boyfriend, Johnson Moore, who remains in the hospital with the injuries, and the other is her burns. But police say the employees have told HPD a different story. They say after Alexander, the female and her friends threw a beer bottle in the drive through and when the manager told them to pick up the broken glass, they refused. That manager told investigators he then gave them their money back and refused service. That manager then says the group came into the restaurant and punched him in the face and started throwing furniture around. They say that's when an employee threw grease on one of the occupants of the car. That manager then said five hours later, Alexander returned and threw rocks at their window, breaking it. He says that's when an employee threw hot grease on her as well. I'm appalled and we're calling on HPD to charge those at this restaurant with the proper charges. What's taking you so long to indict these employees and charge them appropriately with throwing boiling hot grease on disgruntled customers over an argument over food. While the press conference was going on, seven days after the incident, an employee at Taco Bell called the police and that's when they questioned Alexander more about the incident. But after about 20 minutes, the 19-year-old was released.